Good evening. This is All India Radio Gohima. I'm Jonas Siantan with Evening News. The headlines. NPCC terms PTA government's call for another consultative meeting on RIN is total sham. Corona cases increasing rapidly in the country. Reports over two like fresh COVID cases today. Government rejects claim that lockdown will be imposed across the country between 15 to 30th April. And World Art Day being celebrated today. As the number of COVID cases are on the rise again, we appeal to our listeners not to lower the guard, follow all the precautions and all those above 45 years to get vaccinated without any hesitation. Stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, focus on hand and face hygiene and maintain a distance of two yards for social distancing. Now the news in detail. Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee, NPCC, has termed the BTA government calling for another consultative meeting with various APEX tribe organisations on register of indigenous inhabitants of Nagaland RIN as a total sham. In a press release, the NPCC said it, is, it represents the directionless objective of the BTA government that is unable to conclude and implement what it started off nearly two years ago. It said since the Commission on RIN, during the course of its assigned work, had carried out extensive consultations with various stakeholders of Nagalan and submitted its report to the state government, there is no reason for further delay in taking a decision on the report. NPCC said convening another consultative meeting tomorrow after the Commission on RIN had submitted its report is yet another attempt to delay and deny justice to the people of Nagaland. The NPCC reiterated that the BTA government must implement the Commission on RIN report with a cut of year as 1st December 1963 rather than engage in distractions and delaying tactics to prolong its stay in power. Corona cases are increasing rapidly in the country. COVID-19 cases has increased the active caseload in several states and union territories. As a result, the recovery rate is continuously declining in India. However, the vaccination drive is progressing smoothly in various parts of the country. The Health and Family Welfare Ministry has informed today that over 11 crore 44 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccines have been administered to the beneficiaries so far. In the last 24 hours, over 33 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccines have been administered to the beneficiaries. The Ministry further informed that a record number of over 2 lakh new cases have been reported in the country in the last 24 hours. With this, cumulative positive cases crossed 1 crore 40 lakh mark. This is the first time when the country has registered over 2 lakh new cases in a single day since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic in the country. The Health and Family Welfare Ministry has said there are more than 14 lakh 71,000 active cases in the country, which comprises 10.45% of the total positive cases. Nagaland today registered 42 new COVID-19 cases, taking the state's caseload to 12,482. In a tweet update from Health Minister S. Pangyapam, 23 cases were reported from Kohima, 13 in Dimapu and 2 each from Longleng, Mukukchung and Peck. He also added that 3 positive patients have recovered in Kohima. Of the total 12,100 recovered cases, the state's active cases stand at 121. Government to the term as fake, a picture doing rounds on various social media platforms in which it is being claimed that lockdown will be imposed across the country between 15 to 30th April. In a tweet, Press Information Bureau clarified that no such announcement has been made by the sender. It urged the people not to share such misleading pictures and messages. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on our YouTube channel, AIR News Kohima. World Art Day is being celebrated today. It is a celebration to promote the development, diffusion and enjoyment of art. Celebrating the World Art Day, Task Force for Music and Arts, DAFMA, Nagaland, initiated a creative connection, the art space at the Regional Centre of Excellence for Music and Performing Arts, Trotsoma. 
Inaugurating the art space today, advisor to Chief Minister Abu Mehta congratulated Dafma for creating opportunities for the young talents. He said tools can be used in a positive way wherein artists can make their dreams into reality. He also encouraged the artists to make the best use of the digital technology to showcase their talent. Mehta further advised the artist community to carry a positive image of the Naga people and its culture as well as preserve the way of life for future generations. Dafma advisor Techa Meru in his address said, under the visionary leadership of the Chief Minister Nipirio, Dafma is making every possible effort to develop artistic ecosystem in the state. He said art space is a long-felt dream for the artistic community, especially for fine arts, and hope that they will make the best use of it. On the occasion, artworks of various artists were exhibited. Nine Kohima Town Lower BWD Colony has been adjudged the best performing team of Village Adoption Committee, VSC, followed by 10 North Nangami 1 and 15 South Nangami 2. The declaration was made by additional Deputy Commissioner Kohima, Pavani C.O.N., during the exit program of Village Adoption Committee come DPDP meeting held today at Kohima. Advisor Youth Resources and Sports and Chairman DPDP Zalia Nika felicitated the best performing teams of VSC. During the meeting, six teams of Village Adoption Committee under Kohima District highlighted their activities for the year 2019 2020. Advisor Urban Development and Municipal Affairs Dr. Nikki Kire encouraged the committees to continue to render full support and contribute towards the benefits of the villagers. Deputy Commissioner Kohima Gregory Tajavele acknowledged the VAC teams for putting into practice the spirit of convergence in the past two years wherein the team could undertake several activities for the benefit of the adopted villagers. In the meeting, the members discussed and set up a new VSC committee for 2021-22 and aspirational block committee members for 2021-26. Advisor for Tourism and Art and Culture, H. Kehovi Yaptomi, yesterday inaugurated a new police station and STO civil office at Suruhuto Town under Zunubuto District. Advisor Yiptomi called upon the people to take good care of the office properties. He also requested the people to enrol themselves in the census list if they have not enrolled. SP Zunobuto T. Uniel Kichu thanked the advisor for taking the initiative to set up the police station and said that the police will do its best to make the new police station efficient for the people. DC Zunobuto Peter Lichamo also requested the public to cooperate with the administration and the government while encouraging them to donate land so that developmental activities can be taken up. Governor Arun Ravi has extended Yong Tsinyo greetings of to the Yumchunga brothers and sisters and to the people of Nagaland. Yong Tsinyo means heart making festival. The governor said it is celebrated to invoke God's blessings for a plentiful harvest and protection of the crops from natural disasters. It is a time to bond with one another, he added. Governor Ravi said during the celebrations, Yumchungas exhibit their magnificent traditions and customs wherein the youth familiarize themselves with their roots. He also urged the community to observe all COVID-19 protocols while celebrating this beautiful festival and wish them good health, peace and prosperity. Extending greetings to the Yumchung community on the occasion of Yung Tsinyu, Deputy Chief Minister Wai Button said that festival is a time to foster unity and friendship among brothers and sisters to make it more meaningful. He also urged the people to celebrate with caution as the second wave of COVID is casting shadow of uncertainty. Button expressed hope that the celebration will bring blessings to all. And now, 20 News, here are the main points again. NPCC terms PTA government's call for another consultative meeting on RIN as total sham. Corona cases increasing rapidly in the country. Reports over two like fresh COVID cases today. Government rejects claim that lockdown will be imposed across the country between 15 to 30th April and World Art Day being celebrated today. 
That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.